Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today is Wednesday, May the 13th. And I'm getting ready to do my morning um, blood sugar. And we're going to see what it is. I'm so excited that when I went to the doctor the other day, my A1C was 6.9. And it hasn't been that low for me in, I guess, about a year and a half. If not, I guess about a year and a half. Yeah, and so, anyway, I've been trying to figure out what's the easiest way for me and the least painful way for me to get the blood out of my finger without it hurting. <laughs> it, it always hurts me. I mean, I'm a wimp when it comes to pain. I mean, I'll just be the first to admit it. I really am. But Shalimar Perfume said, well, I've had several people say to go around the edge of your finger in like a horseshoe design. I could not ever get out what I think is enough blood for that. And Shalimar said that she does it at the top, very top of her finger. And that's pretty much what I do too, even though it does hurt. But um, we're going to do it this morning. I'm going to use my index finger. No, I'm going to go in and use my little finger. And I'm going to just... <laughs> Oh, yeah, good blood. All right, so let's see what it is. Okay. One ninety five. Now that's not good. Um, it's eight thirty, and I took my medicine at. 12.30 last night, so that's eight hours, so I guess that's why it's high this morning. Um, I hate when it's high like that. It upsets me because it, it seems like I'll go so many days and it'll be, I have a good morning reading and then it'll go for a few days and it'll be terrible. Um, so... In the 190s, is definitely not good for morning reading. But I've <laughs> got to... Let's see, I can't take my medicine until around 11.30, 12 o'clock today. So, if I eat, it's going to take it up even more. So, it's just a... It's always frustrating for me. Even though my A1C was 6.9, I'm still having a frustrating time with my blood sugar. It, it does upset me when it's that high because if I have to go back to it being 2 in the 200s again, I don't know what I'll do. I just could not stand that. But anyway, uh, I do want to let's get off of this subject. I, now, I'm real upset. I don't want to think about it because <clears throat> I <laughs> slept pretty good last night and I didn't wake up. And I don't <laughs> want to have to wake myself up in the middle of the night to eat something or whatever. I ate a little bit of... Um, salad before I went to bed last night, hoping that that would make it lower this morning, but that still doesn't work, <clears throat> so I don't know why it's so high, but let's get off that subject and get on. I want you all to, if you get a chance to watch the movie that I put together of where Kathy and I went on a day trip through um, Botetourt County and Allegheny County. Allegheny County has got some awful thing. I'm mean, awful, awesome, not awful. It's an awesome place. 
up there. It's a lot of places I, it's a lot of hiking or whatever, and I couldn't go to that. But there is quite a few places that I was able to go to the other day, and I want you to see them, especially the, the waterfall. There's, you know, because I've been, <laughs> I guess, a homebody most of my life and have never gone anywhere except to Myrtle Beach. There's not very many things that I've seen. I had never seen a waterfall, I guess, until probably six years ago, six or seven years ago. And I saw the waterfall, then we went back to, that Kathy and I went back to the other day. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And then they have a covered bridge here in Virginia called the Humpback Bridge. And it's one of its kind in the United States now. And we went and saw that and took pictures. And I would love for y'all to see a part of Virginia that, even I don't get to see very often. I wish I did live closer. I'd be there every day, but I don't live. It's like two, two hour drive, two and two and a half hour drive up there and then back. So we did go up there, and that was so 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 awesome. Oh, I just I had such a good time that day, and Kathy took some awesome awesome pictures and then yesterday i fixed a taco salad and i put everything in that taco salad and it was really a um would i say a taco salad bar and it was so good if you get a chance check that out um fix that for your family oh my gosh and my, my grandson was here, and then my daughter came back, and she had to fix her a big plate, too. So, anyway, you saw what my blood sugars were this morning. I don't even want to bring that up. <laughs> I don't know why it's so high. But add yours into the comment section below. And don't forget, because... Y'all, I've got some of y'all that are doing this along with me, and y'all's are so low, so low. And then mine pops up 195 or in the 190s, and, and I don't know. But anyway, um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to join my or like my Facebook Facebook group, you can go to facebook.com forward slash food prepping, F-O-O-D-P-R-E-P-P-I-N-G, or do a search on Facebook for food prepping, one word. And um, I hope you have a great day, and I've got some more recipes to do today, so I will talk to you later. Bye.